What's up, friends of the good wood? This is Money, and welcome to the Scorpion Robot with a Cloaking Unit. Imagine a robot that can teleport behind you with resistance and a lot of firepower, and when you turn around to face him and fight him, he starts to stealth. You'd like, what the heck am I looking at? That's your, probably your reaction. So let's have this, right? There's an Ares down there. He's even already using his shield. I'm coming in for him, and if I take a certain amount of damage in a certain amount of time, uh, then I will be getting a stealth, okay? So let's show you this. Instead of teleporting back, I'm actually gonna capture the beacon now, or try to anyways. Um, but I'm not going to be successful because there is a spectre. Oh wait, maybe I am successful. All right, let's do first cloaking and uh, this, this here. And now you'll see, oh wait, he's actually, okay. Okay, see, stealth activated. Now I'm stealthed. I may not be behind the enemy right now, but I am stealth nonetheless, and now I'm teleporting behind the scorpion. Uh, uh not the scorpion, the fel uh, phantom. And if he does a certain amount of damage to me again, it will trigger yet another stealth. Which he didn't do, he didn't do enough damage. Okay, he's gonna have this guy covered, so I'm gonna teleport back. I saw he has low HP, I didn't really have to do anything here. And I still, still have two stealths, you see in the top left corner? There, it says how many stealths I still have left, and uh, and those are uh, two at this point, right? We're jumping right behind uh, the leech, and we're landing also behind the Aochun. Both of them had their ability used a second ago, and I'm also- Ah, oh, damn it, I didn't get the beacon in time. Alright, that would have been cool. Now, stealth time, baby. Okay, he's actually not doing as much damage as he needs to do in order for triggering my stealth. Okay, and I got him just as he was about to do the next um, flight ability. And I still have one stealth left. You'll see this happening in a bit. There it is. We have another stealth that buys me enough time to jump, jump hopefully behind this guy here into his shield. And from behind, basically, with resistance now, should be able to take him down. I am trying to hide behind him so that the Storm Ravana can't do much. And then teleporting behind him again. And he doesn't really quite understand what the heck is going on. He is panic uh, shifting. And he's shifting again. He doesn't want me to get another ability. But I am trying to get just that with a phase shift. Uh, maybe, let's see. Uh, I only have two weapons left. Damn it. <laughs> they took one of my weapons away. But that was one run, okay? And you've seen how far. Normally, a scorpion who doesn't activate his jump back dies relatively quickly. Right? Normally you die really fast with a scorpion. Oh, oh, he just dropped his resistance. That's good. Also, we're behind the Ares, by the way. Uh, let's walk a little bit further. Inside that shield, and from within, we're gonna have a bit of fun with him there. I'm actually even not teleporting back, because I know I can rely on the stealth, which just happened and came up. Right? So, and I still have two more left to use. I'm regenerating some of my firepower right now, standing on the beacon to block it. And then teleporting behind him. <laughs> Actually even blocking the guy from getting back. Now we have stealth running. Okay. He can't attack me for the moment. Now he's shifting again, and he wants to come out of that shift with a massive alpha, and he did. He instantly activated my, uh... Oh no, not this again. Ugh, I hate the stove ability. Or stove ability. What is happening with my light? Hold on. Ah. My my flashlight or my my uh, headlight there just went sideways. Um, see, 1.7 million damage, three beacons capped, seven kills. That's a lot of performance. And if you thought that was good in Beacon Rush, then imagine what we can do in free for all, ladies and gentlemen. Even if we spawn in the worst position, like for example, spawning place two, which we do right now, is not very good. But with this robot, we can just jump onto the spawn one. And even though I have to fight a Ravana, which I really don't want to do, because Ravanas are like the things that I wanted to fight the least. But with this stealth here, we have the option to kind of, um, you know, kind of be a Ravana too, right? Because we're getting that stealth every time, so we do have the similar, a similar invincibility like the Ravana has. Um, the Ravana has it constantly and we have it too. Okay, trying to get behind cover and there is my stealth activated for absolutely no reason. And this is a problem with the stealth. Obviously, the stealth does not re really allow you to plan those movements, those things, very well. 
Um, you can't plan it because you're you're basically forced to just take it. Whenever you get the stealth, you're gonna have to take it, right? And the ra that's what the the Ravana can do better. He's gonna attack it in a second. Okay, that was clear that I wasn't gonna make it. His weapons are like fully maxed. Um, saw how much damage he did to this guy. Oh, and he's trying to catch me here. Oh, I was able to... Oh, no, I almost made it. Oh, I did make it. Okay, now we're behind him. Let's see if we can fool him a little bit. Uh, but I got perfectly locked here. But I have my resistance running, so that's a good thing here. Okay, wasting some of his firepower here. Okay, one more shot and we've got him. He's got only one weapon left, so... Whew, I'm in luck this time. This time I wasn't the one losing. Although, wait, I still have a decent amount of health. I shouldn't really have lost weapons there. But he certainly did. And you see, the, the, the Ravanas are really the biggest enemies here in this game. They are the most, the toughest thing you can be, fight, but that goes for every robot. The, the, the Ravana, in my opinion, is horribly designed uh, with, these, with how long he can be invincible. And that really makes it kind of stupid. There's like almost no way to really fight the thing. And, um, yeah. So he just doesn't have the legendary pilot, which means he's actually taking damage, but I'm just suppressed. So I can't kill him. I have to recharge. Okay. Come on. Come on. Yes. Alright, we made it. And he's out of his range. See how many rockets just sent? Oh, boy. Is that a Pursuer? No, it's a Phantom. No one plays Pursuers anymore. Although, in my opinion, the Pursuer is actually pretty good. Okay, now that he's opening fire, I'm teleporting behind him. Okay, face shifting through his last stand as usual, if possible. And then getting that too. Nice. And now I should be dying anytime soon, right? Shouldn't I be dying now? How am I still alive? This is weird. Normally I'm dead by now. He suppressed me, okay. I wonder... Uh-oh. Yeah, <laughs> there's death coming, see? All right, let's jump into the diversion with Cryo. And uh, and you see this Aochun that just started, fl flew on us? He has used his ability. And even if he does do damage to us, he will basically just, um, you know, trigger my stealth. Boop. I'm in stealth now. And I'm not gonna face shift because what I really want to do is kill him here. With um, I didn't face shift in the before, I mean. I face shift after. So I can prevent my second stealth from launching. Okay, the second stealth is gonna launch now anyways, because he attacked me from the flank. See, again, completely worthless module. This is something that will not be happening to you when you're running uh, overdrive modules. With overdrive modules, you will always benefit from your modules. You will never have this situation where you can't get uh, a bonus out of your, um, out of your uh, module. Well, he's at low health. I guess I can attack him right now. Um, or maybe not, because, um, another stealth came in and, uh, yeah, wasn't really able to make good use of that. But he's down to his last stand now, and that's it. That's how much I was able to do. Let's do it again. Now he's flying up again, and he's getting another free kill. And I'm just gonna have a fun time watching him here. Base shifting. And then, of course, jumping on him and not getting the kill because he turns out he was already taken out by someone else. All right, again, we have fly stealth. And we didn't get that kill either. By far, I've done the highest amount of damage in this match and I'm not having uh, the win on my side yet. That's a problem. Still have one stealth here available we're running right now. I'm dropping him down to last stand immediately. It's the same player who's already winning on so many, uh, who's already first. Jumping behind him and okay, he face shifts, but he shouldn't really be able to get out of this. Got him. Clearly he made a little mistake when he came all the way over here. Oh my goodness. Ah, come on, dude. It's so close here. What a close match this is. So, let's get killed by enemy number four, because he's currently not first. 
But maybe I can also do something else other than getting killed. Oh, wow. Alright, jumping behind him there. Trying to make him miss his shots by staying ultra close to him. Like this. It's super heavy and hard to hit those shots. It's super hard to hit them right. And you see, I occupied him and now he's getting hit and attacked by the next Titan. And it's like, no matter what he does at this point, he goes down. Ah, wow, that was close. He almost made it. Uh, which would have been my kill then, because I could have jumped on him. Okay. Only Titans left, it seems. Yep, only Titans everywhere. And you can't really fight um, the Titans um, with this uh, with this thing here. That robot is not really meant for fighting Titans, I can tell you this much. Uh, but, yeah. We're still alive anyways. Okay, he used three of his damage uh, modes now to get here. And I'm dead. I'm gonna not take the Titan, I'm gonna instead take uh, the Scorpion again. Since he just used so many of those of those invincibility modes, he can't really have that many more left. Okay, there's one of them. He's trying to escape now. Uh, he was able to trigger my uh, stealth again. I was trying to prevent that. And now with no resistance, I'm helplessly... Uh, I'm really helpless against this guy. And he even has overdrive unit on this thing. But he goes... Well, he is getting, uh, he's getting down a little bit here. Oof. If we can make this guy use his... Okay, nice. He's doing it. Ugh. I'm still taking a lot of damage from the, uh, from the leech back, but... Jumping behind him now, ending this leech from here. Wow. Good. Um, I guess we're doing well with uh, stealth and everything, but one thing you see here happening constantly, and that's the weakness, right? I don't want to make a video just basically promoting the stealth unit, because there are a lot of disadvantages on it. And in my opinion, I think it's probably still better to use, um, what's it called here, uh, the overdrive unit. is, in my opinion, more useful than, um, than cloaking unit. Except maybe for the Ravana. Uh, although even on the Ravana it's really good. Um, the Ravana has... Uh, he can He's the one who can control the cloak unit, right? Because you have these invincibilities to use all the time. You can control when you don't want it to activate by simply making yourself invincible, right? So the Ravana is kind of the exception where the cloaking unit works extremely well. Um, like godlike well because you can simply make sure it runs when you want it to run. Uh, but the other robots are often having their, their stealth unit triggered when they don't really- Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. When they don't really want it. Let's just go and attack him here. I don't know what he has. Oh, it's- okay. He's now, uh, leeching, obviously. I'm stalling to- wait, he wasn't lead. no, wait, huh? Was he leeching or was he not leeching? I thought he- he must have been leeching because now he's- his resistance is already gone. That was too fast. Okay, wow. But yeah, cloak unit, extremely strong and kind of ridiculous, especially on the ro robots where the scorpion, we can just jump behind somebody and then they can't even fight you because you're invinci invisible on top. Like you have an invisible jump on the enemy. Imagine that, right? Oh, that's something I don't want to fight. I get back here. No, forget this. I'm out of here. <laughs> bail, bail. Freaking titans. That's also a thing that you don't want to fight with these, um, with those uh, scorpions. But yeah, so this was the Scorpion video with a cloaking unit. Really ridiculous in my opinion. Um, you don't want to maybe fight the Ravanas. The Ravanas are really a problem, but any other robot you can fight extremely well. And except our Chuns with a legendary pilot. They are also tricky because they can see you. So against them you need phase shift. When they fly in the air you need to use your phase shift. 
for as long as they're flying because you need to assume they have the legendary pilot because uh, everybody has it. The thing is like for 10 bucks or so you could get it and it makes your Auchon three times as good. So everybody has it pretty much. Thing. So that's why you need to assume everybody has it. And that's why I would rather use phase shift against the flying Auchon first and then when he lands then jumping um, on him and then using then yourself because he can't have the stealth uh, anti-stealth when he is on the ground. Uh, except quantum radar obviously. Yeah, so uh, cloak unit on the uh, scorpion. I'm also having it on the uh, on the Ravana again. The video should be in the upper right if it's already released. Um, but uh, I personally prefer the overdrive unit doing more damage and just knowing the module is there for me whenever I need it. Right? There's nothing I have to rely on. Some some bad luck that I got a certain amount of damage too quick and now the module is worthless or something. Um, yeah, maybe having one cloaking unit with two other overdrives, that would be also an, an idea, right? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for being with you guys. Awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.